Vanani's motion underscores the ongoing prevalence of various types of crimes in the country, particularly violent ones such as robbery, gender-based violence, rape, murder and assault, as well as economic crimes. He highlighted that there has been an increase in these crimes compared to the previous year. Additionally, between the years 2021 and 2022, a total of 98,640 crimes, uh, criminal cases were reported countrywide, showing an increase of 7% compared to the previous year. Citing statistics from the United Nations Population Fund, Fernani noted that a significant portion of Namibian women, approximately 32%, has experienced physical violence from an intimate partner. The UNFPA also reported nearly 700 rape cases in the country last year with a disproportionate impact on women and girls. Fernani called for a reassessment and improvement of strategies within the police force to combat and reduce crime in the country. The police force needs to realize their strategy in combating crime in Namibia. We collectively need to identify some of the root causes of the high crime rate in our country. He emphasized that the causes of these crimes vary with factors like unemployment, poverty and inequality playing significant roles. This motion aims to find the engine solution to prevent crime in Namibia. I'm fully aware that uh, fighting crime in Namibia should be multi-sectoral approach where we need to find solution for the high crime rate in Namibia. Honorable members, lastly, I therefore urge the honorable members to greatly contribute to this very important motion so that we collectively ensure the safety of our citizens in the protection of our property.